Do you want to have a photo with Casey Neistat or any other person that you like? Then check out this episode. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. As you already saw, I have a photo with Casey Neistat. And yes, you guessed it right. It's a fake one. I did it in Photoshop. And today I will show you how you can have a photo with basically any person that you like. So only thing that you need to do is to follow three basic principles of photo manipulation. You need to match the lighting, the perspective and the colors of the photo that you want to put yourself into it. So first you need to find that proper photo that you want to put yourself into it. I use this one with a Casey and this, uh, this guy, this is a tattoo artist. So Casey, in any case you're watching this, I really hope that you don't mind that I used your photo. Actually, this is a screenshot from your vlog. So this is just for fun. And I like this uh, screenshot, this photo for two reasons. So first is there are two persons in the photo. So there is a place for second person. I can really easily remove this guy that you will see a little bit later from a photo and I can put myself instead of that tattoo artist. Second, sec second, second, second. Second, there is really nice interaction between Casey and this guy. Casey is pointing toward this guy so I can use that to make some kind of a story. So I was thinking like I can take a photo of myself with a drubby gorilla pod holding in my hand and Casey can point toward that. So who knows Casey's vlogs, uh, knows that Casey love that Joby Gorilla Pod and use it all the time when he's vlogging. So this is nice addition to build some kind of a story. And now that I choose a proper photo for myself, I need to take a photo of myself and I need to match all those conditions. So first let's talk about the lights. If you look at the Casey's photo, you can see that a light condition on this photo, it's not so complicated, there's basically just a big light source on the ceiling that is bouncing all around the room and create this really soft uh, dull light with a soft shadow so I need to mimic something like that. I went to my studio and I pointed two LED lights towards the ceiling, put them on a maximum and that's something similar that uh, it's in the case's photo so I have similar lighting condition. Next I need to figure it out the camera angle and perspective so I look at the Casey's log and I saw that Casey put his camera really close to him and this guy on the table so that means that he used wider angle lens to have both of uh, himself and the two artists in the frame so I did something similar. I put a camera on the tripod really close to myself, I used wider angle lens and that's it. Now that I match those two conditions I took a photo of myself holding the tripod and the next step is to go to Photoshop and to have fun there. Really guys, here in Photoshop, first thing that I like to do is to remove this tattoo artist from a photo because I need to take his place. So to do that, I will use the lasso tool. So press L on a keyboard and just go and trace around this guy like this. And I don't need to be so precise. Something like this is more than good. Now I will go and use Content Aware tool in Photoshop and to do that I will use a keyboard shortcut because I love keyboard shortcuts. So I will need to press Shift and Backspace and that's it. I need to choose uh, Content Aware from this menu, press OK and wait for Photoshop to fill this selection with surrounding elements. And this is more than perfect. You can see some imperfections here but I will not worry about that right now because I will take his place and if something is wrong later I can refine it. So now I will press Ctrl or Command D to deselect that and I will go to next photo where I can find myself looking serious. I don't know why but it's okay. And uh, now I need to extract myself out of the background. So there are plenty of ways how I can do that. If you're not familiar how to select anything in Photoshop and later extract it, you can watch my tutorial about that right here. For this I will use Photoshop's help. So I will go and use quick selection tool or magic one tool and just click on this select subject and wait for Photoshop to figure it out what the subject is and to make a rough selection instead of me like this. It's really good. Now I can go and refine it. I can go with quick selection tool and basically select everything here. This tripod, a little bit of this part right here. This is good. Let me select this and this is okay. Now I will use 
magic wand tool let's go here magic wand and press and hold alt or option key because i want to remove those holes here i don't like them to be in my selection so this is good and then you can see here i can refine that with again quick selection tool so like this maybe here you can just quickly see i don't need to make this perfect because this is just for fun for this tutorial but of course you need to take your time to make better selection and right here i have some leftovers so i will press and hold alt option key and just remove it and remove this and let me see yeah i have something i have something right here and that's basically it now i will press q on the keyboard just to, just to check what the selection is and everything what is not red it's selection so this is good i can now go to select and mask and just refine this a little bit the hair a little bit like this and this part right here so maybe this part right here so i think i'm okay now I can refine this a little bit too so yeah that's good I can press ok and then just create a mask by pressing on this button and that's it I'm ready to go to next step and that's to paste this photo to a cases photo so let's do it let's click on this copy it and just paste it right here and now I'm too big I now need to match the size so press ctrl or command T and make everything bigger but uh, smaller sorry by holding shift and alter option key to constrain the proportions and now let me see let's figure it out if i frame myself properly in a studio when i was taking photo of myself then that means that i can just match the width of this photo and casey and myself should be in a proper proportion so something like this and this looks really good i can make myself a little bit bigger just a touch and let me see maybe maybe this is okay i will press enter to finalize this and now i can just position myself somewhere maybe here and we are done as you can see i have some mistakes right here so i can go back to cases photo and i can use a stamp tool or i can use again this content aware tool to see what this will do okay then i will use stamp tool and just is softer like this and just clone clone this parts right here right like that I think this is enough let me see mm, maybe this this part too so I can go here and just do it like like this right and let me see now now it's more than enough because this will not be visible this is a small photo I can later tweak this even more like that and that's it and now we need to match the colors and there are plenty of ways how you can match the colors in photoshop and i even have two tutorials about that so if you like you can watch one of them on the link right here but in this case i will do that by my instinct and i will lean on my experience so let me show you that all right if you zoom this photo a little bit you can see that my skin color has a little bit more yellowish tint compared to cases where he has a little bit more reddish and magenta tint on his skin so I need to match my skin color to look more like his but I will not match 100% because there are no two persons with exactly the same skin color so there will be some variations so how to do that there are plenty of ways for example we can use selective colors and I think this is the easiest way here because I can just play with some certain colors so i will go and play with the reds and i will just move reds more towards the cyan as you can see that's good but i need to clip this layer to affect only layer where i am so like this so moving this a little bit to the left i already i'm already doing doing a lot now it's too much but let's leave it magenta just a touch of magenta maybe it's too much and like this so for now let's leave it like this okay maybe this is too much something like that and we can play with the yellows so actually i will leave it like that 
and now let's analyze the photo further so if you can see I'm more sharper and clearer than Facey. Facey has more softness on his skin and a little bit more blurrier face and body and everything than myself because this is a screenshot from uh, his vlog so that's the reason of uh, quality difference so I need to make myself a little bit more blurry so I will go here and I will go to filter blur and I will add a Gaussian blur so let me see if I compare these two photos this is too much I can use arrows maybe yeah maybe something 0 0.8 I will press OK and that's it so similar amount of blur but my skin it still mm, has a little bit more clarity than his so to fix that we can go to filter then we can go to camera row like this and we can remove some clarity so let's go to clarity and reduce clarity a little bit so something like that I'll press OK and now it's much better so he has a softer skin I have a softer skin it's better overall now we need to play with the colors a little bit more so let's go here towards the reds and no, it's too much something like this I think it's okay right there is a way how to check the saturation if you're not sure if I'm more or less saturated than Casey there's a really nice way how to do it you can find my tutorial about uh, matching the saturations on the link right here so if you need that kind of technique it's really nice and helpful so take advantage of that in this case I think that we are pretty good saturated and this is basically and guys that's it only thing that I need to do now is to play with some dodging and burning so I will use dodge and burn I will use curves so I will make everything darker I will clip to effect only myself and I will invert the mask by pressing Control command I I will press B to use a brush really soft one bigger one and now I will use 10% opacity and just make this part darker because as you can see cases uh, lower part of the arm it's much darker so like this with the white color okay and this so just match those conditions there so maybe this is too much right here okay and I think this is much better so I can unzoom it to see the better before and after yeah it's much better before and after let's see the colors before and after yeah that's it right guys and it's basically it. now we can merge everything together with shift ctrl alt e or shift command option e on a mac and just go to filter camera roll and play with overall color correction if we want i can add a little bit more clarity to both of us dehaze it a little bit open the shadows even more add a little bit more contrast I can play with maybe adding some bluish in the shadows like that we can add a vignette if you like to add a little bit more drama but uh, just a little bit and that's basically I can make everything more sharper just a tiny bit like this and and that's it let me see before and after before and after not bad press ok and there you have it I have a photo with Casey Neistat. Right guys and that's it for today. I really hope that you like this episode and that you learn something new out of it and if you find it helpful and useful press that like button because it matters and share it with your friends, subscribe if you're not already and ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. This is a simple way how you can put yourself in a photo of any kind of celebrity or other person but there is another a little bit more complex way in case you want to make some interaction with that person. For example if you want to sit closer to that person or you want to hug that person or you want to do something else with that then there is a little bit different technique but if you're interested in that I can make a tutorial so let me know down there in the comments if a lot of you guys are interested in that. I will make a tutorial how to do that too. Right, have fun, take a, choose any photo of celebrity or your friend, etc., and put yourself into it, practice, experiment, and enjoy the process. And uh, if you make something really fun and interesting, put it on Instagram, tag me, because I really love to see your work. I really love to see how you are progressing after seeing my tutorials. 
Right, guys, have fun and see you in my next fun episode. Bye-bye.